Let's move to Sunday. Chargers Ravens. Chargers and Ravens. Ravens minus two and a half. Sunday, 12.05 p.m. CBS. I was surprised that the Ravens opened up the favorite here. I understand they're at home. I got that. Well, they just beat the Chargers in L.A. I, but even still, like you, game situations, you know, change from game to game because, it, you know, just because one team wins one week, even if it is in L.A., doesn't mean that they are going to win the next go-round. Correct. I actually think the Chargers play better away from home. I don't know they play any different. I think, I think it's, it's the kind same of the same everywhere they go. Um, I don't know. They seem to have more big road wins this year. The than, Lost Boys. Yeah, they, they kind of are. They, they don't have a home. There's no home. Uh, let's see. Lines, two and a half. What's the total on this one? 41 and a half. 41 and a half. Went down a tick. Holy mackerel. So it opened at 42, went down to 41. Um, Phillip Rivers kind of been known the past few years as the guy that throws picks. The Ravens have the best pass defense in the NFL. Correct. Uh, the matchup, like Lamar Jackson against that Chargers defense, I think that actually kind of favors Jackson because the Chargers defensive line is nasty with, with Bosa and Ingram. I do wonder if maybe they are – he wants to be out of the pocket. Like, he doesn't want to be in the pocket. And with they the way that they rush, I wonder if that plays to Jackson's advantage. I don't know. The, the only thing I can think of is he ran all over them just two weeks ago. I just feel like that defense is going to be way better prepared being able to play him so close so recently. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's because so, this it's is, thing, I will tell you this, this is a gimmick offense. What, what, and there is it, what, a, what are the Ravens? Six and one with Jackson? Yeah. And, there, and there is a reason that teams in the second half tend to do a lot better about against this defense, this offense, than they do in the first half. Because it takes a while to figure out what they're actually doing to you. Because yeah. you don't really know what they're doing to you um, until you're actually playing it and you line up against them. That, that's my one fear is, is normally it takes a half for teams to get used to that. The Chargers just went through it. Yeah, It's not like it was six weeks ago. And they caught them off guard, and they didn't know what to expect. No, Even when they played, they knew what to expect and still couldn't stop it. I just think, it, hey, listen, before the season started, this is my Super Bowl pick, all right? I'm definitely going to have them getting past the first round. That's, that's, uh, yeah. just, that's just it. Um, I think also, that Lamar Jackson... This is some this is some news. If you're listening to this, you probably already know this. Hunter Henry is going to be back for this game, baby. Really? Yes, sir. Big-time tight end. I Healthy did not know that. And playing. Really? Yes, sir. That's a that's a big weapon, man. That's a big weapon. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Uh, Fired up about it too. Look, I'm I'm going to take the Chargers because I now I've been going against Lamar Jackson this whole time. I feel kind of like an idiot. Um, well, I haven't. I've bet on him a lot, and I've won all. I've, I've won well, almost no, I, all I, of them. I, I took Cleveland plus five and a half. No, you did good. You know, for years, so I, I won that game. Yeah. Um, but. This one, I'm I'm going to take the Chargers plus two and a half. I'm I'm going to take them on the money line uh, because I don't trust Lamar Jackson in big spots. And it's not this is this has nothing to do with my trust in Lamar. At some point in time, Philip Rivers has to try to make his mark of legacy, and if he doesn't do it this season, then win because this is the most wide open I've ever seen the playoffs ever, ever yeah. in the NFL. This is the most wide open. Um, so we both have the two wild card teams winning and moving on. Yeah. Doesn't happen very often. Yeah, no, you're right. Because, uh, I like, I've got the Colts and over the, the Texans. I've got the Chargers. In the AFC. Uh, I don't have the Seahawks. No, but in the AFC, in the we both got. But, yeah, in the AFC, we, we both got the wild card teams moving on. Um, how do you, what do you think about this over-under? I think I'm going to go over the 41 and a half. Like, it went, the game went under the last time. Yeah, because probably. it was what twenty-two to ten, I yeah. think, was the final. Yeah, I think I would go over. I'm well. going to go over the forty-one and a half. I, I may I not bet that. All of these games being twenty-two to twenty-four. Yeah, I mean, I just, I think all of these teams are capable of scoring twenty. Yeah, I, that's I agree. I agree. Um, all right, so Chargers plus two and a half for both of us, and over the forty-one and a half. 